hi guys in this video we are going to talk about the cattle's theory of intelligence so cattle in 1971 proposed the major theoretical components of intellectual activity according to him intelligence consists of two major components fluid and crystallized intelligence so at first let's see what the fluid intelligence is Fluid intelligence involves ability to solve problems and reason independent of previously existing knowledge. So every time you encounter an entirely new problem that you haven't solved before in your life, you have to rely on your fluid intelligence. It is the ability to solve new problems, use logic in new situations and identify patterns in new situations. Fluid intelligence is used slightly differently each time we are in a new situation, so it's very flexible and adaptive. And also fluid intelligence may peak in early adulthood and it tends to decline uh, later. The next we have is crystallized intelligence. Now it is the opposite of fluid intelligence. In fluid intelligence, we know that it's the intelligence in which you have an entirely new problem that you haven't solved before. In crystallized intelligence, you have to use your prior learning and past experiences to solve any particular problem. So it is the ability to use learned knowledge and experience. Crystallized intelligence is like water as it turns into ice or a solid form. Over time it gets more and more stable like a crystal. So when you are learning a new task, we usually start with fluid intelligence and once you have learned how to do the task you can probably rely on crystallized intelligence later and also uh, crystallized intelligence increases with age the more learning the more experience you have the more you build up your crystallized intelligence and here is a graph which shows that uh, in infancy, there is no distinction that can be drawn between fluid and crystallized in intelligence. Between infancy to the age of 15 or 16 years approximately, uh, fluid and crystallized intelligence show identical growth curves. And after 15 or 16 years, the curve diverge. The curve for crystallized intelligence remains virtually unchanged or rise a little bit but the fluid uh, intelligence curve shows decline and the reason why the fluid intelligence decreases as you reach at about 30 is might be because the neurons uh, of your brain uh, they begin to decrease in number.